so slow. <laughs> oh shit, y'all. <laughs> Buffalo, 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 how you doing? Good. What's good, Buffalo? We That's out here. <laughs> I love y'all so much. I be waking up in the morning and shit, brushing my teeth, looking out the window and asking myself, why the fuck is you so cold? Yeah. We should be already in summertime, good weather. I know the rest. Yo, this morning, though, I had a trip. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm tired of the cold weather too. See, this is what's getting me. Yeah. It's hot, warm, cold, hot, cold, warm, Excuse snow, me. rain, snow, sleet, a little bit of we don't know what it is. Like, nigga. It's like a badass kid playing with the uh, thermostat. And shit. Right? Right? Get nigga. Up and down with the shit. Nigga, can we chill? Mm. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I was tight because uh, it's Bruh. morning and shit. I'm going to work. I get in the car. Shit. Hmm. I start. Uh, what the fuck? You can't hear yourself. Tell me that it's not. So I started. Um, I warm up the car and shit. Right. Roll up a blunt. Get my mind right. Yeah. <laughs> I hop in the whip. Start driving and shit. Next thing you know. Who do I see crossing the road, my nigga? A fucking rooster. Wait. In the west side. You saw a rooster a crossing rooster, the road? A, a chicken or a rooster Yo, crossing nigga. the street. Not a cat, not a dog, <laughs> not a person. I'm looking at the car in front of me and shit, and he slowed down. What the fuck? And I'm like, yeah, why this nigga slow down? He taking forever, right? Fucking rooster just crossing the street right in front of us. Bro, I don't know if they was having a chicken fuck? fight or a rooster fight, cock fight, whatever the fuck they call them shit. I was tight, son. <clears throat> I was sitting here like, I'm like, who the fuck rooster escaped? Who, who, who the, you know what I'm saying? Like, who, who doing this? <laughs> not a cat, not a dog, a fucking rooster. Bro, somebody, somebody's rooster escaped and they not having no dinner tonight. Yeah, they not. They not having no dinner tonight. He was about to that nigga was chunky, too, chicken. like he was on steroids. Ooh, he cooked that one nigga of them, up real good, too. It was one of them GMO chickens. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what he had, though. You know, he probably had COVID. Steroids. Had with these chickens. Not the vid. Oh, yeah. shit. And my man was crossing the street. Yeah, you know the old saying, with, why the chicken cross the road? I think that's what it is, right? Well, to get to the other side Because he had COVID. Because he had COVID. Yo, listen. Nah, I'm over here like I'm driving and the sun is out. And I look and I see the chicken. I see the rooster Bruh. across the street. But they, this ain't even a fucking cat. <laughs> Not even a cat. Not even a dog or a person. Early in the morning is a fucking chicken or rooster, whatever. Minding this business, just bopping away. Crossing street, looks at us, does the shit, and then bounce. You know what? Okay, I think I know the difference. A rooster and a chicken. Did he have like a big, like mane like this, like a like a feather thing on his head? It could be a rooster. Was his little gobbler? Yeah, he had nuts sacks for chance. <laughs> he had nuts. <laughs> oh shit yo listen hey welcome to the wny podcast y'all we For back real. at it again like motherfucking crack addicts dog <laughs> like we never left nigga this episode motherfucking oh shit 12 yeah, we popping in this motherfucker we handling business we talking big shit we yeah, talking all yeah. types of shit shout yeah. out to my man scuba scuba man just hey. tapped the fuck in shout out to scuba man and um i want to say one thing though if so, if if it did it, if it did escape, yo, that shit left casual as it could be. 
This nigga, you could throw Jordans on him. That's how smooth he was walking. He was big stepping, big stepping, big stepping. Bro. I said, hey, what the fuck? Hey, who, who, who's there? Got loose and shit. Bro, that's how yeah, you know we left, on the he West Side. Left the store or something. I don't know. Right, it could somebody, be somebody got roosters out here. They cooking and shit. <laughs> it could be from somebody's backyard. It could be from a store, a little restaurant, or some shit. Hey, this the West Side. You gonna hear some roosters, nigga? That's fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that shit had me wild, and son, I was sitting there trying to understand why this motherfucker crossing the street like that. And I'm thinking it's a cat, it's a dog, it's somebody rooster just bopping. Bro. That's what we stopping for? Not, not a person. That's that shit crazy. Like, that shit had me that's, flabbergasted. That's crazy. Mm. <laughs> I say so, the most important detail about this is uh, lock up your fences. If you a farmer, really farm your shit. Because you're checking out here just doing the moonwalk. Nigga. Now, let me ask you this. Uh-oh. You live in a city, right? Yeah. You lived in the country. Hey, sis. If you lived in the country... And you was riding down the road, mm-hmm. music blasting. You chilling. It's a nice day. <clears throat> Who am I listening to? Frank Sinatra. You listen, yeah, little Frank, little, little Frank. Frank. I like that. And guess what? You see, you see a rooster. Ooh. Do you stop and say, "Ooh, that's dinner," or do you keep going? I wonder what's the next cockfight. Ooh, Ooh, or yeah, or. Can we get some money together, nigga? Like, nigga, what's up, nigga? <laughs> I know some real niggas that gonna cook that nigga, and I some, and I know some real niggas that gonna put him, put him to fight and make some money. Oh, they gonna put him to work? <laughs> nigga. It's fucked up, yo. Let's. It is what it is, nigga. Don't keep your chickens around these motherfuckers. Just like that no. one dude. Oh, the one dude in New York. So he was, he was low on supplies and shit, right? Yeah, <laughs> he was low on supplies in New York. He was running low on chicken, for he was running low, for real. Low yeah. running low on broccoli, all all his shit, all his all the stuff that people like. Next thing you know, they said, he said, I got a wonderful idea. I'm gonna collect all the pigeons from outside and all the and all the New York street rats, and I'm gonna cook them. Yo, he started cleaning them, skinning them, operating yeah. different. Bruh. One nigga came into his shop, had a rice bowl. With uh, rat feet, right? Oh, yo, I've seen a few I of know them videos. That. That's legit. Them. So that's Bruh. how disgusting they, they've gotten. Mm. To the point they eating doodoo. <clears throat> the one dude said, he was like, yo, we're going to cook some doodoo. I'm like, cook some what? Yeah, this restaurant, we we, we take all types of shit from the street and, and we clean it. Can't clean shit. The man was really trying to sell like all types of different animals. As, you know, the lower Bro. the lower species have of rotans and shit like that. That's crazy. Yo, that's fucked up. Yeah, covered bro. up chocolate uh roaches. Oh my god, chocolate. No, don't, <laughs> yeah, don't, he did. He did. That man was moving fuck different. With the chocolate, bro. What the Yeah, I can't fuck, fuck with that. Covered chocolate roaches. Yo, these niggas wild. Now nah, I've heard of chocolate covering ants, but it's a certain type of ant. Certain and type it's of like ants. they do it in Mexico. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But it ain't just any old ant. It ain't no. It don't work like that. Like, yo, you was watching something like that where the one guy likes traveling around the world, trying different foods. And, oh, um, shout out to uh best ever food review. Yeah, they legit. That's my guy. I like them shows. I like them shows where people go around and just be trying different shit, just eating. <laughs> I was just watching uh the one dude talking about just eating, nigga, just <laughs> just growling away and shit. <laughs> you, see, you seen the one dude? He been uh he been violating monkeys for a long time, and yeah, oh. yeah, he been violating these monkeys in um in Japan and shit. And oh, it was oh. telling him that um you got to be careful because sometimes after a while, while when you have a certain animal with a high intelligence factor that, that can learn quickly, he will eventually pick up to your tricks. So he kept, leaving yeah. his one, yo, he kept leaving his one door open. And eventually he picked up how to open it. 
So they show the side by side angle. He's opening the door and shit. And then the monkey come around. He opened the door. Like he did the same thing he did, but it took him a minute. Like he stayed, he kept going like this and shit. Why this motherfucker accidentally fell into the joint? Like he's been tasing him for a long time. Like he'll tase him. Oh, he wild. He a wild boy. He go in there and tase the one monkey. The yeah, one monkey and shit. The one monkey got so pissed, bro. Grabbed him by his long hair, started dragging him. They all started beating him up. Not one time they touched his face. Ain't that crazy? Yo. That's crazy. Like they're in high intelligence. They they was like, you know what? We don't want to kill you. We just want to scare the shit out of you. You know what no, I'm saying? They did that. They fucking did that. Go beat up your body. <laughs> Go beat you up for a minute. Beat up your body. <laughs> That's crazy. Son. You know what's crazy? I was just speaking of monkeys. I was just watching some videos. I went down a rabbit hole yeah. the other night, and I was watching videos about gorillas at the zoo. Which, by the way, for the record, I don't condone cap uh captivity Captivity. of animals. I do not. I I agree. I believe they belong in the wild, but it is what it is. We got buildings now, so whatever. But the one joint was super nice, right? And then the other one just kept charging at the glass. That's why. Until he fucking crack that joint son because they trust the glass too much i've i've, I've heard these that. niggas trust the glass too much bro but you know they <laughs> they didn't make the glass as strong as they could be because they didn't want to harm the animal at, at the same time so you kind of like re, you put more resistance on the material that you make but yet you don't want to put you don't want to add too much resistance because you don't want to hurt the animal uh, that shit don't make no sense now let's call it what it is they cheap they definitely Nigga, they cheap. Cheap. Oh, <laughs> where they get these shits from it was like you could have Damn, where you find this you could have eight inches mm. of straight thick uh uh impenetrable glass okay. or you can have the five and it'll save you twenty thousand oh let's get the five they're gonna yeah. five. no i don't That's think they budget they're plan. not gonna <laughs> oh we'll be fine yeah well guess what it's for every the- budget for every budget cut a business owner takes Mm. employees don't see that much in their paycheck mm. or, or or they don't see enough in value in the in the place they work at right low in um yeah. low in everything or they don't see the next day because they die oh shit just saying Damn, like the one nigga he died randomly wouldn't mm. it suck to die at work that's that's not good i wouldn't like that oh. just pull up and shit i'm watering the flowers one day Get smacked by a bird. He hit me in the neck. Like, and he just swooped down. They never told me this bird don't like these flowers to be watered on a certain day, so he got pissed (laughs) off. Nigga, you water my water? Why you me up like this? (laughs) Is you crazy? Pouring water on him? (laughs) Bro. Yo, it's funny, because I, again, I went down the rabbit hole the other day, Mm. and I saw that this one bird, the way it gets its prey is it, Drops down from the sky like super fucking fast, and then like six or seven times it just like kicks its prey. It's like wow, swoops down and just kicks it, with it, or just hits it with its beak. Like just one good swoop, boom, hits it, yeah, and then it know. comes back. So boom, hits it again. It better not be like the and one. And then it dude. comes back, boom, hits it again. It's crazy that you say that. Right, it has an instinct to attack from a certain angle. It knows how far. It needs to go to kill your ass. It says a lot. It sees your vital signs. So that's one thing I love about animals. They can see where they can bite you and quickly kill you. Oh, yeah. Quickly. So the ones that nip at you or oh, bite yeah. your hand, that's called like a... That's, for them, that's like a, a, a love bite. Yeah, but that's, that's non-lethal. The non-lethal shit don't matter. It don't. It's the shit like the cobras of the world. What are you doing? And it's the... <laughs> And it's the rattlesnakes of the world, and the, no the and the and the poisonous Venus fly traps. Cause now, it's, what's the other one? Uh, Ooh, yeah. that minor creature. It was like small and shit. Like he really don't do much, but one bite will paralyze you. Small bug, almost looks Ooh, like a spider. I know the rock fish it's, is like that. Like a tadpole, real tiny little tadpole looking spider type shit. Oh no, spider! It's crazy. Huh? It's crazy. There's a bunch of venomous my uh spiders. But I don't know, I gotta look that up. Hmm? That is. 
I know the rockfish was one of the weirdest things I've ever seen in life. The rockfish. Yes, bro. It looked just like a rock. It is one of the most poisonous things <laughs> in the ocean. They said if you step on that, you go, you feel like you're about to die. Is it like, it's not like back in the day, like how the Egyptians were, like there were certain Egyptians near the river Cairo, by Cairo, you know, Cairo? Yeah, Cairo. Ka- yeah. Cairo, where, um... They invested their times in psychedelics by licking toads. Oh yeah, yo, yeah. the toad. Yo, about shout that. out to the, all the psych- <laughs> psychedelic niggas out there. You fool me. Yeah, y'all niggas is you crazy. Y'all go is, down a certain nigga. rabbit hole, man. No. I applaud y'all. Y'all be seeing yeah. the bottom of the barrel coming Girl. back a warrior. To certain niggas that could do it in women, I applaud y'all. Right. I I don't know if I could do that shit. I see too much already as a visionary. So you know what's crazy. I've done shrooms a bunch of times. That's fine. I've done acid a bunch of times. You've been and, there. Oh, I've been there. Yeah. I just smoke weed, y'all. Uh, me going there and is, <laughs> sit is, one, is no not. It's not what I thought it was gonna be, and probably because I have, I'm so open minded to so much already that it had very little to show me. If yeah. that makes any sense, like. No, it makes sense. I like, get it. Everybody that that was with me at the first time I did it, nigga, these niggas seeing dragons and like falling <laughs> around. And they like swinging that shit that's not there. And I'm like, yo, where's like my trip, dude. bro? What the fuck? Shout out to my boy Anthony Capola. Yeah, I know. If you ever watched this shit, he agreed to this shit. The time he was tripping and shit, we was all I was smoking weed. He wanted to get some uh, rooms and shit. Yeah, we did. We hit up. You know, he got what he got and shit. He was tripping so bad, he kept, he kept talking to the, uh, this alien figure he had in the room. He thought that shit was coming up to him and asking him questions. I was like, nigga, who you talking to? This nigga say, this nigga nigga. Say I'm seeing a grown ass man. I turn, grown ass man just sitting there talking to a whole alien. I'm like, yo. And me being where I'm at mentally, I looked at it like, oh, he's tripping. Oh, that's crazy. This would have looked like. <laughs> it's like if you think he's crazy he's not crazy he's just casually in his own world seeing shit going through that trail you know what's crazy i feel like i don't feel like i've had dreams like that that's how i know that to a certain extent a trip won't be a trip hold on trip won't be a trip for me like it would be for somebody else yeah. because i i i love shit like that i see like shit like that in my dreams and show time Bro, every time I've done shrooms or acid, it just made everything like better. That was I feel it. like it did. I didn't see anything. I just everything was just better. I don't know why. I feel like it it, it enhances your uh, your thoughts, but it also speeds Bro, up your process. It enhances everything. But I, like yeah, that's a, what I mean. Like it why? speeds you up too. So for some people, it might be a frightening situation. Yeah. For others, it might That's be true. a great experience. That's true. And then you have the in the between where they just good and bad. Where it's like, ooh, it started off bad, but then you're like, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> good. Okay. Everybody like, had that moment when they was too high. Yeah. And then they realized they was good. And then they said to themselves, I'm good. I'm Are you good. good and shit? <laughs> <laughs> nah. I've had moments where we when we went out and shit. After a show or something, mm-hmm. and we drink too much, like, I, <laughs> <laughs> and I can't do it. Like, you know, I'm not really a big fan of drinking, but I know my limit. But this time around, I didn't That's know my limit. Drink. Sorry, he just took a <laughs> sip too. He just literally just took a sip while I'm talking and about I'll this. Take shit. a drink. Sorry. Yeah, I got so drunk one time, bro. I I I, I was pissed because. I'm watching everybody else have a good time, and I'm sitting here still with my same thoughts as if I would be when I was sober. So I'm mm. like, damn, I'm not really. So most lose themselves when they drunk, and I notice when I get there to that mm. moment of like, oh shit, I'm not, I'm not lost like everybody else would be. Like they, they in the zone. My shit changes like. I'm I'm so fucked up. I don't want take. I don't want nobody taking advantage of nothing crazy. Taking my money, 
finessing right. me to anything to a drug deal. Shit, like, <laughs> so nah, he's so nigga. fucked up. Tap in your pockets. Like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa! What you touching Where me for? Where my shit at? I'm Back good. up. What my? Yo, ain't nobody so touching me yet. Hold yo, on. Yo. Who in my pockets? <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, it's like good? it's a paranoia. I'm the good. world we live in. It's like it's too many scammers and robbers. Niggas yeah. want something constantly. So. I had to learn how to break out that mode and shit. So, so I started getting around my brothers and shit. I'm saying, start drinking with y'all. I was like, all right, now nah, I'm good. Now nah, I could get fucked up sit, sitting in the couch and be gone and shit. Yeah. Wake up to wake pizza up nigga. and waffles and chicken. <laughs> nigga, we wake, nigga. Breakfast, grown we men partied. making breakfast. We make our own shit around here, nigga. Nigga, we've partied and woken up like kings. In Airbnb, nigga. waking like, up like kings. Like real talk, <laughs> nigga, I'm yeah. not here. Again, shout out to Scuba. Yo, yeah, shout out to Scuba, man. I, I'm not going to hold you. Scuba's the first person I party with that had me wake up on a staircase. Dang. Like, I walk up on a staircase. Like, yo, Scuba, when you see this, send me a message. Let me know you saw this. I know you're going to remember this, where we had that little get-together <laughs> at Zach's. And we was you got everybody fucked up that night, bro. Damn, I woke up. Kind of sent you. We're not gonna talk about the rest of the bullshit that happened that night. Mm. The great part was me waking up on the staircase. I was about that fucked one night, up. Me and uh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I can't even. Me and Silk. I'm gonna say Silk. <laughs> <laughs> and we was at the club. Yo, so <laughs> we was having a good time and shit. We had our own section. We had the right people. People was actually dancing mm -hmm. this night. Um, so cat connections. So we use our rapper card. You know the rest. <laughs> right. Um, they had this special performer show up with with some whole bunch of girls and everybody having a good time. And they start dancing. They take over the middle. And the one chick. Oh my God, bro. Yeah, the one chick. It's crazy. Because if you if people hear this shit, they're gonna be like, oh, I know what this nigga talking about. She started dancing and doing her thing, twerking, whatever. Uh -huh. <laughs> and the one dude was in front of her, was so pissed, he started saying like all types of shit I can't say on here. And you know, mandala pal carajo, all that shit. Oh you know, shit, shit like that, all that Spanish shit. And um I look. Man's got like a drop of red, red drip line on his face. I'm like, damn, who the fuck cut this nigga? He ain't get cut, bro. She was talking so bad. She was on nigga. period, blood squirted at him. Nigga, oh my god, god. Ah, nigga, what the fuck? Yo, son, yo, yo, this shit yo, flew son. at her like fucking period blood on his cheek, on his face, bro. In the club, she in her back. In his it bad. I don't think it wasn't as bad nigga. as the lady that was in traffic with the dude in South it Carolina. Too. Oh, and, and he was driving his Hellcat. She had a Hellcat, <laughs> and she cut him off. She cut him off so bad, he almost crashed into a semi truck. Right. So, oh. but he could drive apparently. I guess because you can see the captions at the bottom saying TikTok. Thank God I'm I'm a retired NASCAR NASCAR driver. So I don't know if this is legit. If he's right. legit. But he's saying you know, they just be putting them captions. They put anything. Time. Yo, so sidebar, stop just putting captions on shit for clickbait. I'm trying to get by him. You know what I'm saying? That shit is whack, B. Go that ahead, shit bro. is whack. And next thing you know, the nigga got cut off. He mad as hell. He made up the light. He rap a dazzle right quick. He pop a loopy. He look at him and go. He say, he say, blase, blase. <laughs> she look at him. She take, she take a hand. Way down, straight down to the below the depths of the earth. Whipped out the tampon, threw it at him. Wow. And we drove oh, off. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. He was tight. The nigga was tight. Mash. He was screaming mash. Bro, <laughs> screaming mash. I didn't been... <laughs> He was like, yo, AIDS, all the HIV. Bro, he was going oh, in, shit. bro. Bro, he I was going in. This, he was bro. tight. And his wife was going in, too. She was giving him the green light smack, and you can smack her for it. Oh my God. Like, like, what the nigga, fuck? Nigga. Oh man, my neighbor, sidebar, my upstairs, uh, upstairs neighbor, for so long, they had this Rottweiler, bro, that was in the backyard. Now, he shared a backyard because they was upstairs from us. Bro, this nigga was in a cut 
all the way in the back of the backyard. Oh, he wants every them. day. Bro, I don't like those. Y'all don't like those. That shit annoys me. Yeah, run up, run every, up to you day, every time. Bro. You coming late for work or something? Bro. We come in, he no, running we up in there. the dark. Bro, we Cause they still keep them outside. Basketball. That's the wild shit. Those neighbors, in the they snow. was the type to keep that nigga outside all night. Rain. That's snow. why he was so angry. <laughs> 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 he's so mad because he's out there in the cold 24-7 all season. This shit. Blizzard, tornado. Oh, he, oh Ruckus will be all right. <laughs> <laughs> Ruckus? Nigga, get him out the cold. <laughs> like, bro, yo, you when I say Cujo, this nigga was, you he was Cujo. Cujo. Bro, I grew up with Cujo. Up your block like Cujo, I don't like I that. I swear, bro, me and my sister uh, used to be in the backyard playing basketball. And every time the ball went in that direction, that's a whole day gone. It's like, oh, now we got to build a con- uh, contraption just that's to get cool. the ball that's back wild. on some sandlot shit. You ain't get your ball like, back. Because the dog big. is going to rip us apart if we get it. anywhere fucking close. Or you rip the ball. So. Or... Remember, bro, oh, I've oh, lost ball to this nigga, bro. Master Shields, mm. um, the court in the back. Mm, mm. When they had before they knocked everything down, they used to have uh, they used to have these yeah. big ass fences. Yeah, niggas used to rip holes in the fences so they could come oh, right yeah, by. Yeah. Well, apparently <laughs> this one fence ball always to go through that shit. This one dog used to rip it up all the time. The Asian dude was mad as hell. He was cool. But he used to be mad at us because the ball used to go over there. But um, I think his name was Ming, and he was cool as fuck. Yeah. He could ball too, but he was so pissed, bro. He got he got tired, bro. Like he, he said, he said all he did was just collect all types of uh soccer balls, footballs, basketballs. Yo, we all, backyard. We lived the <laughs> real shit. life sand we, we did. Like that movie, like most of us kids who grew up in the 90s, 80s and 90s, we lived that life. That's a fact. Like dip, like going like a mile away from your house, like two, three miles away from, <laughs> to a fucking baseball field. To the kids of Sandlot, that's different. Yo, Sandlot, no, the movie, remember that shit? Yeah, that's With, fire. Um, what's his name? Um, The black dude that played... Which is funny because he was the owner of the he dog. He said uh, the black. <laughs> yes, the black dude from Star Wars. Uh, rest in peace. Um, What's his name? Star um, Wars. Yes, bro. He was um, uh, Lando. Um, no. Nah, um, he was the voice of. Uh, he's the original voice of Darth Vader. Um, oh shit! Uh, you know who Earl, I'm talking? Earl you, Jones. Yes, James Earl Jones. James Earl Jones. James Earl Jones yeah. was the owner the of the big dog in Sandlot. That okay. was in the yard where the kids' balls always, always yeah. used to fucking Basically, go, that's bro. the same situation I was dealing with. I feel no like matter, most kids dealt with the same thing. Had some Like, no similar... matter what we did, bro, we bought a new ball, went we over there, to. we lost it. We had to get another we one. We had to, like, We nigga. lost it. And it, came, became, it became a cycle. It's like, we yeah. didn't want to do that shit on purpose, but we actually had a childhood and lived our fucking childhood. Yeah. And it was actually having fun. Bro, so, adventures. Just to get a Real ball back, yes, bro, was a whole day. Oh yeah. You said Sandlot though. That's a lot different. That's that movie was really our childhood. If you yo, chat, when you get a chance, mm-hmm. go on um whatever platform you watch movies on, if you can find it. Find Sandlot and watch that shit. Yeah, but ain't nobody. And if more you grew up in and, uh, my man's King Zeus though. Yo, he's 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 a different type of sad. But if you grew up in the 80s and 90s, you will know exactly what we're talking about. Watch the same lot. Let us know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. You already know. My man's the other day took a trip to another bunker. Who? King Zeus. Oh, my God. And now, I don't know... Yo, the nigga Zeus is crazy. Because I don't know what his conditions are, but lately, this <laughs> yo, this motherfucker been wild. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yo, he impersonated a, a, a Soviet Union soldier and just walked Bro. in. I don't tell me how and how he did it, but he I watched this shit and he did it. I was I'm, like, yo, what the fuck is this? Nah, I'm Bro, sorry. that is Go criminal back. war. Go back. Oh, my God. That is all types of jail time. Go back. Nigga, <laughs> you said something about 
This hold on. <laughs> so I told you about the last time him eating doo doo in the subway station. Yeah. So he took his man's to a subway station, right? A old, Yo, the uh, a said- old metro station <laughs> from like 1975. <laughs> he brought his man Zasco. <laughs> And Pachaco. Yo, <laughs> yeah. good with Yo, these listen, niggas, bro. Them, them niggas be having wild adventures. What's Do, good yeah. with these niggas, I put that bro. shit on TikTok. <laughs> I put that shit on TikTok. Like, he literally took his mans down here. And uh, it was like this pipeline and shit. And I, what's and your TikTok I, for the people? Uh, Cobra uh, underscore X10. There so, you go. Tap the fuck in. You want to see my in. shit? I got good content. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> nah, but seriously. <laughs> the nigga the nigga was really eating doo-doo man it was from like the ceiling pipe it was like a pipe hang or some shit bro it looks so it look oh so at my what point, god at what point bro. you get paid enough no you like nothing that's nothing. not enough nothing. <laughs> that's not a, i can't do that nothing. Not i'm a that. bro i'm a texture person i'm a i'm a you gonna die in the, the older i get the more bougie like clean clean in particular i get about search that type of shit, bro. Hell, I can't no. do that, bro. Bro, it was like it was like it was like radioactive poop hanging from the ceiling, nigga. Well, like, he said this. Is what he said. This is what he said. It was so weird. He said it looked like poop. I don't know if it was rust. Bro, it was probably rust, rust. and poop and water. Uh, it, it was a sewage bro. pipeline. Oh my god! Oh well, yeah. yeah. It was a mixture. Of all no, he knew what time. it was. It's the way he what he said. He explained it. He said that um. The nastiest people live above this sewage pipeline, something like that, in Russia. I'm like, but the, I don't know what that meant because I don't, I don't know the, that side of the country. So you know, they speak different too, by the way. So you got to catch on to the subtitles. So he ate the sewage from the worst of the worst, nigga. What the fuck? And what kind of shit is that? And where you find this? <laughs> what the? Fuck, and then the water, yo. the type of water that was coming down. Straight doo doo, it, yo, it looked crazy. He looked passionate about drinking it he too. He didn't hesitate either. He just no, he like fuck me up. I don't know what he was doing. I never like, seen him. I've seen him do all types of crazy shit. I never I'm, seen him do no shit like that. I ain't gonna wipe it on I can't his face and shit. Same either. I can't look at him the same. Every time I see him now, I think about that like, little stinky doo doo breath. Guess what? Mm. I thought he was wild, crazy, irresponsible. Until I saw that. Now all the radioactive dust and him going to Chernobyl. His brain is fried. That Chernobyl trip seemed like nothing now compared well, to he that. He was shit. drinking the uh, <laughs> the radiation, radiation like a like a Starbucks. Yeah, and I yeah. said that he, it was coming out the pipe. It was a British. random pipe out the wall. Just he tripping. And then I was he... laughing because they took his ass to the um to the doctors to see how he was doing. Him <laughs> and his man's and shit. And they both standing there like, oh, how oh, we doing, Doc? Oh, Doc, oh, looking at him like, yo, son. Geez, I don't know what to tell you. But this is bad. It was real bad. Bro. Homie going motherfucking die one day. Nigga. God forbid, but I can't Nigga. even. Bro, his, he said his paperwork so bad, he don't give a fuck. He's still going to do his shit out here. One day soon, like, you, you don't rub radioactive dust on your face and not knock a couple years off well he copped just he knocked off a couple years that's a fact i know for a fact he did Ooh, chernobyl t yay chat if you ain't seen it yet chat chat let's have a conversation chat okay (laughs) you gotta go back and look at our video at our other podcast chernobyl t Yo. That's a fact. Is it is it what's worse though? That or getting knocked out by a fucking ghost in your uh, own house and you pay rent. Fuck the you ghost. pay rent in Let's this house. Back. You what's wake worse up is that poop. Out. What's you worse think is so? the poop. Okay. The poop that I'm just he ate was the worst. I mean, now, I'm just asking because what could be the worst? To the ghost, you gotta compare the ghost to something else. Cause the poop thing was know. worse I think the than ghost... him drinking that. That was crazy. Oh, I just found out more information about the ghost. I found out that whoever moves in that Oh shit. <laughs> Buffalo. I'm here. Yeah, there you go. I did find out that whoever moves in that house, that uh-huh. ghost is known back in the day for not liking uh, um tenants that move in. So he lived on the top floor. Like this is my house. This is my house. 
So when the one lady came in, the Mex Mexican lady came in uh, with the with the sage and shit, talking about toma toma toma. You know what I'm saying? The ghost didn't appreciate that shit, so he got got radical. So the previous owner radical. told <laughs> the couple, "Hey yo, listen, keep it real with you. This ghost be doing an A one stomp on niggas. He don't like when niggas come in here with the sage and talk that blase blase." That's what caused the friction in the air. So when they went in there and homie had the gun, you know what I'm talking, you know what I'm saying? And they was like, yo, homie listen, when gun. I count one, two, you know what I'm saying? I'm open yeah. the door. The ghost knocked her out. Why? And she fell into the room and the door closed. That was how the dragon started. They started hearing all that dragon going around like, oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> yo. I had never seen shadows bro. in my life stomp out a woman like I saw in that what video. The that's wild, fuck? bro. Whether that's real or fake, she came out hurt and she was in the hospital. So I, that report was real. So to each his own, though. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not living in no house with. Man, the ghost is wilding, bro. Soon as I know it's an unfriendly ghost. Mm. First thing I'm doing is calling two one one. You said who? Who's that? that? <laughs> who the fuck is two one one? Hold on, that's put your me neighborhood, on. your county's emergency services uh -huh. line, nigga. How fast is that? And I'm fucking where? Did, where's the um? <laughs> your county don't line. Don't you got a? Don't you got a shelter or something I could go to? Cause I'm not staying here. Is it like my man Joey Diaz? Remember what he said when you uh booking a flight? Don't book it. Uh, when don't book it. Don't press one. I think he said press two, and it will take you to the Spanish operator, and you'll get there faster. Oh yeah, you know what's crazy about that? It actually works. That works for so many different companies. It's fucking crazy. That's crazy. I've used that. Guess who I've used it for? Oh my god. The Department of Labor. Yeah, you, when you I was trying to get my unemployment, <laughs> I swear Yo, to press God, one. I did. Hello, nigga. cómo está? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga speaking Spanish all of a sudden. Bro, you bro, wild, bro. It was crazy because it's like, why am I getting through quicker on the Spanish line than I am the regular? Nigga, yeah. fuck quicker. I didn't get through at all on the English line. As soon as you speak Spanish, oh, Marque Cinco para Espanol. <laughs> para Espanol, Marque Cinco. Okay. Marque Cinco. Yeah, I don't S understand like that. Six minutes later, which is very quick compared to how long the average call is to call the Department of Labor. Because, nigga, again, you might not ever get through, ever. You might not. It's like, a possibility. Nigga, it took me months one time. Well, what was that, like two years ago? I think it took me months, months to, to get through to get them. started. That's some real Month, shit. Months, bro. <laughs> Department of Labor. Yo, bro. what's worse, though? I, I was just watching this one video, right? And you know how I stay on shit. The Russian hitman. He, he's small man. I, small. I don't want to get in trouble. Small people. Yeah. Small people. Small per correct? Little person. It's little person. Little person. I can't say what I want to say. <laughs> I mean, shit. I can't say that now. Apparently, so yeah. This little person. Oh shit. And look, man. I really want to say, it, man. Damn. <laughs> so apparently, his job is to. Oh man, this. I don't. We don't live in the real world. His job is to defend this. this this man that's built like a giant diesel as hell. Yeah. Wait, what? He's like this pop star in his country. Famous. Everybody love him. Oh. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. You know who I'm talking about. And he got that's this so one weird. small guy, this little person. He be, he be watching his back and shit. So they tested him. Oh, they tested him at the, at the most highest. Bruh. He was at an event. He was walking. He was getting ready to get on stage. The one dude walk up. He jumped up from the top of the speaker and, and hit him right in the neck. Why? I'm like, yo, what kind of shit is this? Oh, yeah, he probably judo <laughs> chopped that yo, nigga with the bro, Austin listen, he get Powers paid. joint. He get paid, <laughs> I think, like a $2. billion to protect him. That is bro. no fucking bullshit. And, and euros. Love you too. Thank you. Peace and love. Bro, the nigga probably tiny as hell, but he jumped up with the with the Austin Powers chop, nigga. Uh, it's a certain amount of money a man gets paid to watch your back. I'll take it. Yo, I'll take that. I'll take I'm that sorry. guy any day. 
I'll take the flack for you, bro, and I'll say it for both of us. Okay. I would love to have a midget as a bodyguard. I don't oh, give a shit. fuck what he nobody said. It for said me. That's nigga. what I need. That's what I, don't I fuck need. What nobody <laughs> said, nigga. <laughs> Yo, if he's out here protecting UFC type niggas, come on now. Bro, because guess That's what? That's not the same concept. That's guess a different what? description on the person. I don't give a fuck how small the motherfucker is. If he's smart, he's dangerous. Damn. Period. Damn, that's if crazy. he's skilled in anything, he's dangerous, bro. Man, he's fuck. skilled. He's oh. skilled like my man that was working at Area 51 out here, stealing UFOs, flying around, stopping at Speedway, no, getting caught no. and shit. I want to meet that yeah. dude. I would love to meet him. Hey, my man, if you in, I, <clears throat> I ain't gonna say what planet, but he gone, any man. of them planets in that, I ain't gonna say where, but wherever you at, because I know you be tuning in still to YouTube when you come on this side of the universe, nigga. That's a fact. I would love to have you on the show because now that I know that niggas that be going places go on podcasts like Joe Rogan. I'm and just shit saying like this is the rumor. He left in Chancletas, bro. I'm just saying my man went to a different gal. He stole a UFO. And but don't forget dipped. he worked. He worked with Bob Lazar for at least the last 50 years. Something like that. Probably like 20 or something. He's Probably only, 27. He's only like 50. So they say he's 60. older and he's known Bob's Bob's Lar, Bob's L- B- B- Bazaar. <laughs> his, his name Wild Son for a long time. So yeah. it, it could be. I don't know. Listen, I don't, I'm just saying. Yeah, I, don't know. I don't know. Who knows with these numbers? It's too many, it's too many numbers they're throwing at me. Right. I don't like that. You know what's crazy? Like speaking of speaking of motherfucking numbers. Mm. Guess what? Yeah. I heard Spotify. Heard you I talking heard, about that. I, how you gonna hit it before I dropped it? Because I, I knew you was going somewhere around there, and you. But always, they didn't know. You can't. They know now. I'm live. <laughs> <laughs> they know now. I'm motherfucking live. I just gave the people free game. Yeah. So, no, but real shit. Spotify and uh, Apple Music may be forced to pay out a whole lot more money to artists let me be correct is this for independent artists or all artists of all kind no this is all categories artists. everybody Imagine. everybody even if you play a flute down the street everybody who releases their music through a distributor on itunes or um can pay i mean or this, on uh, bonus? apple music or spotify so we gonna see a bonus possibly Possibly. Don't okay. For so, according to Mix Mag, um, say the name again. I'm sorry. Mix Mag. Mix Mag. Okay. Uh, says new bill aiming to give artists at least, at least one cent per stream, uh, put before U.S. Congress. So, mm-hmm. a new bill has been put before Congress. That is trying to get us at least one cent per stream, which, as y'all know, is a crazy increase from point zero 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 five. Which that's not even a real number. That's not a real number. That's let's be real. honest. Not a that's real thing. Sense. And money? That's not a thing. You exaggerated. With I got a penny. Money. Where's the penny at? You get the penny. Got a penny you right here. Explain it to the people. Gotta explain it to the people. All right, so imagine penny. this penny, 0.0005% of this penny. That's what we get per stream. Okay, this is a penny. Now, nothing go lower than the penny now. That's what they say. They're saying. They I found a know. way to go lower than the penny, bro. That's wild. In numbers, when we talk about like, science and like counting things okay yeah. counting things other than money okay yeah. you go lower than a penny that makes sense but you got negatives okay so how does how does this work for the artist that don't understand what's going on like boom he, he thinks he's getting paid now but i got you the article says the living wage for musicians act benefits all musicians Hmm. Not just the top percent of artists. You just asked that question. Yes, hmm. I did. Actually, yeah, yeah. The I minimum sure wage would come from the establishment 
of an artist compensation royalty fund. Now, the minimum wage that they're referring to is if they bump it up to a penny per stream based off of what people already make, yeah. it'll basically be about live a uh, minimum wage what we niggas is. Making. So, if really you, worth it? Kinda. It won't compare to what we get paid now. Hell yeah, it's a, definitely an increase. It is an increase. But that's not all. The other part of it is, well, it's two other parts, but the one other part is uh, the new bill will also require 10% of non-subscription revenue, including advertising revenue. Sound like the script. To be paid toward the fund. So, hmm. boom. You know how you go on Spotify and then you listen to music and then you hear an ad? Right after. Spotify gets all that ad revenue money. You don't. You don't get a piece of that, no. Nah. It's not like YouTube. Like YouTube. Right. YouTube, YouTube, you get a piece of that. Every time they run an ad, you get paid. You get a piece of that. If it's eligible, if your page is eligible, yeah. you have a business page, you do get paid from ads like running mixtape. all your videos. Yeah. Like our mixtape. Come on, yeah, bro. That shit, that shit run ads right after. Come on, bro. We got a business page. We do. So, you know. But, I mean, okay, so, boom. To put it in perspective, right now, to get, say you got a million streams tomorrow, that's paying out $4,000 for a million. With the new bill, that same million subscribers or million streams would pay out $10,000 instead. Hmm. So it would go from four to four to 10. Uh, how, does, how does that work out for uh, people that have cross platform? Because, you know, Spotify is also connected to PlayStation. And people have membership. Same thing. Is Their the streaming thing? model is, uh, is bra. So they do have licenses with other uh, DSPs, digital service platforms. So anywhere you can play or review music. So the whole thing is they already got predetermined contracts with these companies. Yeah. So they already, it, that's already set. Okay. So... Now, if they were smart, they would go to Spotify and renegotiate after this shit. But which I'm pretty sure a lot of them are. But cause you know what's crazy too? Hmm. Okay, they about to pay artists more money. Maybe, maybe. If they do though, they're not coming out of pocket. Guess yeah, where the money coming, coming from? Guess guess where the money coming from? Enlighten me. They're gonna charge. An extra four to ten dollars per month for everybody who got a subscription. But well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, what <laughs> kind of catch is that? So wait, catch is that? so if I, like I that. pay for Spotify, yeah, if I pay for Spotify. Boom, I'm paying eight dollars a month right now, or ten dollars, whatever it is, depending on the plan, right? That means no matter what. It'll be minimum an extra four dollars a month. Now I have another question: How does that affect <laughs> the the label and the independent artist? That is nothing but good things for us, cause we all get paid more if that's the case. I mean, I can't say much about W and Y, uh, but the others is a little different. Now you know what will happen: their user number. So yeah. say they got a hundred million users, that will go down though. Cause some people gonna be like, "Oh, what y'all upping y'all prices? Fuck y'all! I'm gonna go somewhere else where it's cheaper." Hmm. Naturally, anytime prices go up, any business loses some people. That's just how it if happens. You subscribe. You pay I a monthly fee. Yeah. I don't want to throw too much game out there because I don't want niggas to catch on that much. Yeah, they, you pay. Yeah, do their own homework. Yeah, but now that I'm listening, that makes sense. I like that. I like how you put that. Yep. But to the independent artist, that's not part of a label, right? You get paid more. Either you, way. You get paid more. It's a win-win that's, for that's everybody. Crazy. Except the labels. See? Now, if we an independent label working with independent artists, that's different. We we can pay more. You no longer have to sign contracts and sell your soul. Yeah, you ain't got to do that. Sense. You can make an actual decent amount of money. Which means, okay, how about this? I put it in even more simple terms. 
every thousand streams you get paid ten bucks. That's that's something. Stop ads. No, no, that's just from the streams. Just from the streams. Just now they about to add ad revenue on top of that. So I'm what? Okay, so yeah, now that's my department right there. You know I like that. We about to get money, nigga. What? Because every time I see ad, I'm like, ooh, I'm spinning rise above. Hey, I'm like, ooh, that's an ad. And every five, whether you skip it or not, five seconds go by, boom, they got their stream. They got their ad. The ad. I don't be skipping that little run. Come on, bro. The ad gets (laughs) no, that's the thing. When we run ads, mm-hmm. whether they skip it or not, it run. All it needs to do is count five seconds to count as a view. Important. So, how long is it until you get to skip it? It's five seconds. Five. So, seconds. guess what? Every single ad that's running is getting counted as a view. Shit is crazy, son. See. Y'all independent artists out here, y'all have no clue where the real money is being made and where the real moves is being made. It's in the marketing. It is. Like, if you really believe in yourself and in your music, you would get into marketing. That's it. You've been to the studio. The music is out there. You, uh, Nigga, get into marketing. <laughs> but you know, lately it's been uh, headcrackers. Uh, beat makers. Most of them want too much for one beat. I mean, my situation is different. I do have the luxury and the, and the connections now. After working with Evil Empire, you don't know who Evil Empire is. That's a French Montana's DJ, Chinks Drugs. You know the rest. Gucci Man, Lil Wayne. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right now, um, Boy, Coke, Coke Boy Boys. shit. We on some Coke Boy shit. So shit different. I learned that depending on how you uh, market yourself and you display the music that you got, character, profile, your persona, most of these cats, they they go off your uh, the value that you sell. So the one dude said, I respect your content because you don't sell yourself short, but yet you don't, you don't let no one take you up any higher than what you already want to take yourself. So when he said that to me, I already knew at that point we were going to have a respectful conversation as, as far as uh, how much is this? How much is that? Oh, I could, I could lower, I, I, I could get this much for that. So at first he's like, yo, a beat is like 250, like 250. I'm sitting in my head like, damn, that's wild. Just so a whole pack to <laughs> be... Nigga, a couple racks. A couple racks for a whole pack, you get a whole bunch of beats. For one beat, you only get 150. So the fact that I saw it, nigga, she was trying to sell it for. 10 songs. That's 250 times 10, nigga. 2,500, nigga. But you don't, but don't forget. Get crazy. Just, see, I, I got to be careful. Half of the time when they send you beats, you got to open them up. And let's say you get a good deal and a good price. But you got to check them beats out. You got to see which one of them um, sound good and which one don't. Half of the time, they sound terrible. And that's how they get you and shit. So you get caught up yeah. in some shit like that. So you got to you gotta wager out the differences with these motherfuckers. They're going to catch you. And yeah. prices all depends on your value. Like, how, how do you rap? If, if your rap is legit, if your shit ain't whack, they're going to respect you. You know what I'm saying? But if your shit whack, man, they're going to head crack you. Real, they will head crack you. They they won't look at you like, oh man. So you one of my fire ass beats for like one fifty? Yeah, that's you, you tripping. Fact. I'm about to I'm about to hit yeah, you three hundred. Yeah. Two fifty. But he told me straight up, he's like, damn, I respect your work and um I grew up listening to Chinks Drugs and Lil Wayne back in the day picking up them CDs fresh from Evil Empire. So I'm like, thank you. And uh, at the same time, I, I wanted to let him know, like, I had to let him know, like, I respect the type of music that you make, the type of beats, the type of sound. I know you uh overseas, so that's a different experience. But if you can make something that relates to what Cobra Man sound like, we can work. And yeah, yeah. right now, that's where we at, waiting for the message. And I can't say his name yet until uh, 
you get there. But right yeah. now, bro, he's he's legit. Um, I did I did ask to change twenty of them beats that I did not like, and he did. I think this time around, when we go to London, I think the people gonna love it, man. See, that's what that's the power of negotiation too. Because when you networking, okay, networking, boom, you, you link with somebody, y'all in conversation. That was the hard part, really. Nigga, now all that's left is to negotiate and see where you get in, where you fit in, shit. I think people get confused with that, though. Like, they, they expect certain conversations with uh, beat makers to be, like, extravagant. Got it. Let's just call it what it is. They <laughs> expect straight up. everything up front all the time. Yeah, they up front everything. all the time. They tell you your it's price like a, is what you want. They mix it, mix and master. They do everything for you. No, I think, no, what I was about to say was I think that these upcoming artists want, they expect too much up front. Oh, the See, upcoming the artists. A lot of them don't even get to the point of paying for beats. Yeah. On God, I, most of them just go on YouTube. And rip them off. They do, and like can't, this shit is crazy. See, that's my shit that pisses me off. That's like, not business. There's a lot bro. of young niggas out here and older heads, whatever age you is, whatever the fucking class you is. Yeah, the older rap. niggas too doing that shit too. Y'all keep YouTube taking beats beat. from YouTube, YouTube beat and expect niggas. people like to. I don't know, like you can't do that shit. That shit's not yours, my nigga. So it's not licensed to you. So the fact you get away with that shit, that's wild. <laughs> DJ Cecil dying right now from the gas. That's a crazy. <laughs> okay, what's the craziest place you done been? To? Fuck tr- gas station. Place in general. What's the crazy place in general you've been in in the South? Without giving up too many details. Okay. BP. <laughs> he that was quick. He did not think. <laughs> You, gas you don't want to think about it or not? Nah. That nigga. <laughs> I don't have to think about it because you about to hear oh, some real shit. dog shit. Yo, listen. <laughs> Walk. I had to get some gas one time because I was uh I wanted to go to um Yo. Greenville. <laughs> you laughing because he know he know I'll be on my mission. Yo, this nigga called me on <laughs> shit. Yo, you, hey, listen. One thing Cecil so know about me. If y'all don't know about. Uh, one thing is I'm living my life to the fullest right now, and that's the greatest experience I can do. And so most can't live their life right now and get to travel and see certain shit and meet certain people and rub certain elbows. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? And be in conversation with your favorite rapper and artist. Yeah. Y'all go see him. I don't got to go see him. I be backstage watching you tripping. Mm. <laughs> that's a fact. So y'all be going crazy over for nothing. Stop spending so much. Not that Yo, it's not that wild. Respectfully, speaking of spending so much, all right, let's talk about it, my brother. Yo, that's wild. It's these shows. Them tickets was crazy for the fucking Drake show. I ain't even gonna hold you. All right, and this. Oh, don't forget about the BP. Hold on, easy, quick, nigga. <laughs> don't no, you can't do that. You ask me where you crazy motherfucker. I oh, got yeah, you right yeah, now. Yeah. yeah. Where? What's the craziest place you've been to? I, I feel like the, the, per, the, the person, this, this individual going to tune into his live and he going to message like, yo, that's a fact. This nigga yeah. Cobra not lying. Because I came, came with my Haitian niggas. Mm-hmm. Hmm? You know how they is. They got certain okay. gas stations. This time around, I had to go, they had to go to the nearest one. The nearest one? Ooh, that shit was like 51 minutes away. I was confused. I'm like, damn, nigga. Further, Damn, and your gas running minutes. out. I got gas, shit. but that's an hour worth that's of driving. Hours though, are worth shit. of driving. We did it anyways. You know those country niggas don't play. Yeah, they do not play. They what different in the shit? south. Yeah, y'all different in the south. But them Haitian niggas Bruh. don't play. They really about this shit. And, you know, we went. When we get there, I cannot make this up, bro. Not, cannot. I was so frightened. You know, I'm not a man to really be rattled by shit. I stand my ground. It is what it is. I seen the shit. I left. I had to leave. I had to wait in the car. You seen what shit? Come on, bro. We walk in the gas station. Me and Big Dog, right? Boom. He walk in first. Cling, cling. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, it was like a fucking movie. 
I walk yeah. in there. I'm looking. I'm like, I need something to eat. Fuck it. Yeah, I'm buying. I started getting that un uneasy feeling like, yo, Cove, you know, it's another gas station. You have gas. He don't. He about to get gas. He good. You could always drive somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? You yo. know how my brain be going. Dude. So these some South niggas. I got a Buffalo, New York mindset. Get the fuck out. So these niggas in here like, uh -huh. what's going on? Like, how you doing, partner? You know what I'm saying? Like, uh -huh. bro, do that at the register, pop out with the with the puppet. Oof. Started taking our order with the puppet. Bruh. I told this nigga, I told this nigga, bro. I say, yo, what the fuck is going on? This nigga look at me like, yo, oh, he bruh. do this all the time. <laughs> he do this all the time. Bruh, bro, bro, when he see this shit, bro, he gonna confirm bruh. it. And he, I, I'm gonna have him send you the location. Bro, the spot. This is what they do bruh. in the middle of fucking nowhere, bro. Bro, you take my order with a puppet, we gotta he, fight, nigga. He, <laughs> he tried to take it. He tried to take mines. When I see the hand pop out, and he look like Chuck, he look like uh, uh, the nigga from Rugrats, bro. I ain't fucking with that. But then that's when I realized, yo, they different out here. Their sense of humor is different. It is different. I Cause left. everybody got guns. I left. So I left. I left. Cause if the puppet come out, the gun come out. I'm good, nigga. Oh, yo, what if the puppet got? I got to shoot out with the puppet. No <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I gotta pull out the Glock. You have a shoot out oh. with the puppet, nigga. If they ain't bang. <laughs> Nah, that's not the story that wanna. I, no, that's not the Yo, story that's going on TMZ hey, or Google. Hey, None of that. That's not what's happening. What's the nigga name from from uh, Pinocchio? Uh, Geppetto got the Glock. Geppetto. Nah, <laughs> nigga, fuck that. I got the Glock Apello. <laughs> A bunch of Ginobili's. Euro stepping. Nigga Cobra be like, "Yo, this nigga got the Glock Apello." I'm like, the Glock Apello, bro. That should save your life. What the fuck? <laughs> it saves your life. <laughs> you don't got, oh, you don't got something to protect you in the, in this new America. You tripping? Okay, you tripping. If you going to listen, respectfully, this is me. I don't know about y'all how y'all feel about guns, but if you going to a gas station pumping your gas without a Glock Apello or something, you tripping in this new America. Niggas is out here kidnapping you in broad daylight, putting you in the back of the trunk, and slapping you with some corn and shit. No, I, bro. <laughs> Yo, bruh, listen, protect bruh. yourself at all times, bro. Bruh. Niggas is wilding out here. They kidnapping you in broad daylight, <laughs> flying off the J's and shit. All you see is your sneakers left behind, nigga. Oh, shit. That's it's shit dust. crazy. <laughs> oh, shit. That's a little smoke trail. That, like, ooh, <laughs> a little smoke. Yo, listen. Oh, real. Shit, listen. Nigga, and my no. man, Scoop, man. Shout out my nigga, Scoop, man. He know what yeah. I'm talking about. You go to the gas station, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, walks of all life, whatever you swing, whatever you do, whatever you go, I, I commend that you keep a weapon on you at all times. Protect yourself. People are weird. People are tripping. They kidnapping your kids. They they, they human Ooh. trafficking. They doing all types of shit. There's people losing their minds in this new America. They not they not taking their meds and they open shooting in public. It's mad shit going on. So if you don't stand on your P's and Q's, they gonna pop your dumb ass. And yep. stop being a dumb ass, stay focused, stay ready, or they gonna pop your ass. Yep. Straight up. Hey, I'm gonna keep it a buck. And I mean this with all due respect to everybody that's living and breathing. <laughs> I'm, I know for a fact that a good percentage of all of them special ed kids done grown up and got guns now. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Bro, no, I'm no you, seriously. Uh, your bro. title is CEO, right? <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Your title is CEO, right? I am an artist. I cannot <laughs> agree, <laughs> but I can let you. Uh, <laughs> no, wild yeah, I'm, I'm, what I'm, I'm, saying, what I'm yo, saying is, I can't strictly, even say shit. It is strictly my view. Yeah, and see, my view DJ C don't only, give a fuck, and not that of the company or W Records LLC. What's their name? It, LGBT community, whatever. The, I ain't got none. No, no, I ain't saying about them. Oh, now not them? No, I ain't saying about them. Are oh, you talking about shooting stars? I said short bus. Oh, shit. I oh. said the niggas who was in the motherfucking... What, what, wait, what did I say specifically? A little high. 
What did I say? I can't repeat. I said, the word. Oh, special ed. Okay, I well, said, now, niggas, oh, said who's right in now. special ed? Okay. You feel me? And not because they was bad. Not because they was bad. Because it is a difference. <laughs> because I used to see one of them niggas. They... A good percentage of them who, you know, the bad kids who we didn't like in school. They grown now. They got kids, and they got they they, they the ones at the range every day with the shotgun. <laughs> and you like, why would you bring a shotgun to a shooting range? That's that's what that's they do. Them. That, <laughs> that's what the fuck they do. <laughs> so them. if you ask yourself, like, that's them. Yeah, it's like asking yourself. Yeah. Oh, we going to a basketball court with no ball. What the fuck yep. is you doing? Yep. He 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 got your number four wrong. And do you like? It doesn't. It's not even that hard. Nah, he it's on not. the scream shit. But he said, "What are you waiting for?" Yo, oh, shit. What are you waiting? What are you waiting for? for? That's fucked up. That's it. Just reality of life, my nigga. So, that's oh just, shit. Nah, but you know I stand firm on that shit. Like, don't be lacking. Like, don't find a reason to 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 be hey, in that situation. Like, always stay in p's and q's. No, you're right. It's your right to carry a firearm. Yeah, for real. Don't let them tell you can't protect yourself. I don't believe that shit. America has changed, bro. Like, you know, we've we've seen all types of people lately. People keep letting state laws over and federal laws overrule the Constitution. That's the problem. Ever since they the first time they did it and niggas allowed it. Ask me why Buffalo looked like why Buffalo looked like one of those countries out there in, in Russian shit has been in, in war times and shit. We got so many potholes, bro. It's yo, fucked up. It do look like a that's third wild, world country. Bro. That's I don't true. even drive. Listen, this morning, that's true. I was swerving in front of this cop so crazy. Skirt, skirt, skirt. He looked in at me like he doing the same shit. He can't stop me. He can't hit the lights. What are you going to tell me? Oh, you can't do that? I will, sir. Listen, I'm not hitting those craters. You know what's crazy? I but it was craters, bro. That's so deep. So many police and they didn't stop me. Cause they know what's up. Nigga. What's worse? Bruh. You buy a brand new Corvette, right? They swerving too. Try not to hit that bitch. Oh, what's his name? What's his name that got stuck? Uh, not not just because the snow is that pothole, bro. Oof. Having knowledge, information is, is is something you can love and gain, but at the same time, it could be a burden and a curse. You know too much, and when you know too much, you look at people different, look at things different, you eat different, you sleep different. Yeah. Respectfully, you fuck different. You go, yes. you go on dates different. You love your woman different. Yeah. And so right. them niggas that don't love themselves and respect themselves as a human being, you always going to get bad energy. Yeah. But that's why I don't know how we got to there, but potholes, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> yeah, Bro. Straight up. So for real, though, he got stuck. What's his name, though? He played for the Bills. Who got stuck? Oh, you talking about Stefan Diggs? Stefan Diggs. Nah, wasn't it snow that he got stuck? I like Stefan Diggs, but I ain't gonna judge him. I, I, ain't, was a I ain't gonna judge him. Why he dressing like a nah, I ain't gonna say nah. that. You know what? Cause hey, he he not originally from Buffalo. That's not a Buffalonian respectfully. He, not. he dressed I different. Don't, we can't speak for him. That's not <laughs> I can't speak for his him. His fashion either. is his own. Is it? The only thing I know about fashion from Buffalo is Maddie Ruse. That's it. Maddie Ruse, dog. Um, if you oh, haven't caught Maddie Ruse, shout out to Trend Up. Trend Big Bust, No Blood Shit, representing the West Side, straight out of Buffalo, New York. This is WNY Records. You tuning in to this wild ass podcast. We talk about <laughs> everything and everything in between. If you don't like it, you don't yeah. like the shit we saying, respectfully, you can suck a P, a D, and get the fuck up out of here. Yeah. We only take yeses and. Yeah, the nose don't go count. flying, nigga. Nose don't count. <laughs> and uh, we ain't get here fucking around and bullshit. That's why you can see us doing what the fuck we do and having fun. And I got the luxury to smoke my weed and be in the presence of a real nigga. And um, go stream the mixtape. <laughs> I'm over here going crazy. I had about hey. how many Jimmy Deans? Yo, we had some drinks. He, had some oh, drinks. Cecil always do that shit to me. Get me we out. Some drinks. Get we me on the fucking live, tipsy. Because and then I gotta what? control my shit. That guess shit wild. Wow. You fucked up. Cause that's what Joey D- uh, Diaz used to do. Yeah, that's right. Joey Diaz. He used to get yo, what, lit yo, and who, get his shit going. Who's that one comedian that, uh, that you say he coming into town? Uh, well, um, fuck. Nick? Um, Nick what? Nick, Nick Swartzen. I can't Sebastian? fucking wait. No, Nick Swartzen. Nick Swartzen. Bro. Yeah. What's, Shout what's out to Nick Swartzen. 
What's up with him? You feel me? And he loves hip hop. Just saying, he loves he does, rap. He does oh, love hip hop. Oh, shit, my bad. <laughs> you almost burned these fingers. Almost burned the fuck out of you. <laughs> I probably couldn't write for a week. Oh shit! <laughs> I'm like, oh shit. Let me. Nah, Damn. nah, 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 nah. But for Yo, real, for real, he's shout coming out to, to Nick Swarson. Hmm? When I think, uh, 15th? I don't know. Hold on, let's see. Oh, shout out to Larry Lau for real. Yeah, shout out to DJ Larry Lau. Uh, he just had an event in, in Cleveland with DJ uh, Jack the Ripper. Yeah, he was tearing it up out there. It's a strange name, I know, y'all. Y'all got to bear with it, but that's a real nigga. He was tearing it up. He's out here. He's, he's out a, here. He's a legit uh, DJ. And um, this is wrong, legit. He's so high as hell, he forgot what he was looking for. It's all good, though. Oh, uh, cause I forgot what he was looking for. <laughs> That's a real fact. I forgot, nigga. <laughs> so oh, what the shit. fuck? <laughs> like That's okay. Yeah. Good, listen, look. That's why it's our shit. We could do That's See, why I is, love this shit. This is this is the beauty of the internet. This this is and I appreciate my pops. And I appreciate my mom, <laughs> rest, rest in peace. peace. Because they knew years ago, our parents' generation, some of some of our parents. In that generation, they knew the internet shit was the future. And happy birthday to my mother. Like, hey, happy birthday, birthday to your mom. Birthday was yesterday. Hey. So, uh, much love. Much love. You know, hey, if you still got a a parent out here, I guess you doing all right. Shit. I still got my sister, my nieces, mother. Hey. So. Cousins, you're completely yeah. off the screen. That oh, nigga, I done disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, listen, we got different cameras voice. around this motherfucker, and, Bro, and then that one, voice. I keep disappearing like the Matrix, nigga. Like, whoa. Yo. That's wild, bro. Now that I see, I'm like, yo. Wait till you see the footage. It's going. So half of the time they talking to a ghost. It was. Yo, shit. I swear to God, wait till you see that shit. Yo, shout out to the niggas that's living life for real. And people, ladies and gentlemen, if you living life, hey. <laughs> much respect to you for real. Cause some hating motherfuckers out here that want to see you happy. That's a and, fact. And my advice to you when moving on to the next relationship, you dating someone or you whatever, whoever you talking to, please don't, please don't bring up your past and constantly talk about, oh, this happened, this to such and such. Oh, that brings down. God. Like, think about that. You want to talk, talk to about someone, that for right? A second you like this person. You like this chick. You want to talk yeah. to her. And the first thing she starts talking about is her ex, My her ex, fiance. And oh, he did yeah, it. He did this. He and did that. He was... That's not growing. That's not health. That's not. That's not a healthy relationship. Basically, you haven't got over that situation. Stop no, meeting no, no, people no. that are. They just tell oh, you. Like you that. They no, no. This is what they say. They Go just ahead. telling you. So you will know what he did. So you don't do that shit. They're not. They they're over him. And how they many just, times I tell you that's not the healthiest shit to do, bro. Like, like, I know we all trying to figure it out as, as human beings, but you shouldn't. Yeah. You shouldn't bring that when meeting somebody brand new. It's a fact. If you gonna meet people, come around healed, man. Don't bring Please. that baggage. Nobody want want that shit for real. Like, Please. that shit don't make no sense. You I've get, seen it firsthand, so are you gonna get that's what I'm talking up, out of experience. <laughs> or you going to get caught up and say a lot, me. and it's going to be people random. People I know. He said, not me. <laughs> not me. It's people I people know. I know. No, real shit, though. It's real shit. Real, they go through know. it. We've seen. It's it's not good. It's it not good. Ugly. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yo, it's not good, nigga. That shit is ugly, yo, nigga. Yo, uh, whoops <laughs> out me, nigga. I be gone for this. Oh, God, no, you going poppy, don't do for that. sure. <laughs> yo, is he gone again? <laughs> you was for a second. Yo, maybe yeah. listen. Let me help you. When you talking about the real you. shit, when I started talking happen. about real shit, it disappeared. It's crazy because it's true. Because think about it. If you love, okay, you've been um, let's say you've been you've been single for like two or three years now, right? Feels your time to start dating again. I don't think the first thing you should do is just talking about. Just pull up bringing all that trauma and shit like from the ex yeah from the ex and shit like that hasn't shown that you have healed okay. in any way so let me so translate what kind of toxic shit let me translate it to without some realizing of y'all that you're bringing it you know what i'm saying yeah and that's not good all right females 
ladies. And males. Males too. Males too. Because dudes do it too. Because yeah, respectfully, do doing that males shit. is they more do. toxic than the fucking females. They and do. I respect the women. And you know, I, I have a high value for women because I have women I've seen bust their ass and work hard for their shit. Mm-hmm. Not women in my yeah. family too. And they, they ain't need no men, but. Facts. You know hey, saying? shout they out to all the shit. strong women. It's National Women's Month. Shout out to y'all. The best thing you can do, bro, is if you if you come into a relationship or any situation that you feel like you want to start, don't bring that baggage. Heal first. Yeah, that's what I got to say. Brain back. My nigga. I agree. Did you hear what he just said? Don't bring that baggage. Because guess what? Man or woman, we don't want to hear about your ex. Man, I don't really care. Don't. Oh, that's terrible. I don't care what he did, she did. Because you be playing the same cycle. If you're going to talk about me like that, you'll talk about the next you're man, the next man, and the next man, and the next man. Thank you. So you repeat in the same cycle. Respectfully, Let's break if I meet that. a woman, I'm not about to talk about... If you ask me, that's different. That's different. Now we yeah. talking. But meeting you, nah, that's not the first thing I should be doing because you're a different entity, you're a different person. You, move, you, you say you move different. You say you walk different, right? Quote, unquote. You know what I'm saying? That's so become like, first date talk too now. Chicks is like, oh, well, I my told ex, you what I said. Well, my this is my this is my perspective like, on the first date lately. Respectfully, bitch. um, nobody should be going out to dinner first or to the bar. Oh, no, the bar, the bar makes more sense. Yeah. bar shit. I said makes more sense. Fuck dinner, fuck Lasertron, and fuck and shopping, fuck the movies, fuck too. Starbucks yeah. and the movies. Yeah. Because what you're doing is is wasting money on someone you don't even know if you're gonna like them or not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's for that's free game for the man and the woman. Yeah. And mostly men too. They get heartbroken doing that shit. Stop doing that shit. Stop spending money going on these places and the next day she ghosts you. And you're like, oh, she ghosts me because she a gold digger. It's not even gold digger. She's something she ain't like about you, my nigga. Probably your breast thing. Probably don't brush your teeth. It's mad shit. Women look at certain shit. Most women. They're smart about who the fuck they want to fuck with. They look yeah. at your teeth. They look at your personality. All that shit, nigga. Before they get to moving, and yeah. and obviously it's it's more common than anybody. You, what's your income looking like? <laughs> yeah. you working and um, you don't live with mama, first, right? And first impressions are everything. First impressions important. And bro. dudes usually suck at first impressions because most of y'all. So don't what's got a realistic games? first date for a person that don't want to get a part up? The oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I said shit. the park last time. Or my one, or, or my one on London water. nigga on my on my story. <laughs> I put I put a post like that. He was like, "No, partner, I don't know about that." Brother. Okay, so that's why we need to change it up because I bar. agree with everything you just saying. No, not even a bar. It got to be somewhere where you can quiet. Um, so you can talk. You can really actually and get to know each other. I don't know. If that's navi- a place. Navigating a store that's too much half of your brain. Nah. Too much? Okay. The Keep park, going. trust me. You going to the park? The park is the most neutral, quietest, like open, free, but still you're together. It's just about y'all. about coffee shop? Too loud. Too loud. Mm-hmm. Depends on the coffee shop. They got some quiet ones down right there. If you can find us a, a quiet coffee shop, a, a coffee but shop that, would be that good. starts with the man or the woman. Well, and leading yeah. that's what the man googling shit and figuring it out observe the situation i think if men if a man really likes the woman he would go to the place that he really want to take her and observe it out okay okay see what they got clean okay cool instead of just, just sitting on that fucking phone yeah. you know what i'm saying like, what I, you oh, know what i mean put some work chipotle chipotle nah, that's, Yo, that nigga take you to Chipotle, Chipotle? send that nigga to hell. Ch- <laughs> oh, send that, send, Chipotle? Oh, hell nah, no. Applebee's? And stop buying these niggas groceries at oh, Tops and shit. They broke, they broke. <laughs> oh, what the fuck shit. is wrong with y'all? I'm tired of seeing that shit. That shit be pissing me the fuck he off. Said, like, yo, yo what the fuck? Said, yo, what is the nigga doing? Like, yo, bro, they be wildin'. They be wildin'. They be wildin'. They be wildin', bro. <laughs> I don't know what they doing. You know what? Men and women be simping. Sim- female simp too. They ain't, oh, men ain't the only I ones. I see it. I whenever see whenever you see a gore, absolutely gorgeous woman, and you can tell just by her aura that she's not necessarily a bitch. Not, you know, got resting bitch face. She's, yeah, she's, she's got a good. Shit. He's... Yo, I'm a savage. I can't <laughs> help it, bro. 
Like, you know how I am. I don't like if she's beautiful. I, I respect that because everybody be has goofies, a preference. Though. But my shit is her personality. Like half of the time, she's just like oh, I could do it myself. I don't need nobody type of attitude, and I don't like that because that means you don't need me for anything. And a man needs a placement value to be an importance in life. But that mm-hmm. whole mindset that we've been taught saying fuck everybody, oh, I don't need this, I don't need that. That shit don't work for us. That's not how we built. We both we built to be uh what's that? Uh triple A batteries, my nigga. Like, come on, we yeah. gotta function. Like, like like it's not it's not legit. So that's how I view it. Like if we can't be partners, we can't see it eye eye to eye. Fuck is yeah. we talking for? Like, <laughs> that's a waste of time. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not, yeah. if I, you know me, I'm not a man that's afraid to shoot my shot at all. Right. Because either that's a yes or a no. Because if you say yes, you get to fucking know who the fuck I am as a man, respectfully. And if you say no, then you move on. That's for, for any man Where that's you can say is no. be afraid. Hey, guys. Men. Stop sending dick pics, though. Y'all be tripping. Boys. <laughs> Y'all be tripping. So, yeah, stop Y'all sending dick pics. Y'all be sending girls the most thirsty. wild shit. You know, I'll be like, up. hello, mm. beautiful. And the next day is like his dick toes pick. and his dick pic. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> nigga, what are you doing? Nigga, what? At that point, start your only, only fans account, you creep. Oh, you know, shit. shit. like that. Yo, niggas you be know wild, what? bro. I be I seeing the comments. Un- yeah, I do understand why some women, be, they do be a little sketchy on dudes. And they be getting bad experiences. Because I've seen the inboxes from some of these men, bro. And it is fucking ridiculous. It'll be like, hey, what's up? Hi. How are you? Oh, or oh, so you wanna talk? Fuck you, fat bitch. You ugly anyways. Fuck you. I hope your mother dies. Yeah, I see like, those screenshots. Like, That's God. How fast damn, you get mad like nigga. That? Relax. So you mad because you couldn't get the girl and the first thing you think your first thing you start doing is calling her a bitch or oh, oh, you're just roasting nice. her like, dude, if you don't go somewhere. You just, uh, you just put her in a cooker. That's crazy. Niggas is, and then they just bitter, and then they go on to the next one. They do that until it works or kind of works. It's like, dude, they terrible. And then the females, they have no. You know what's crazy too? Mm. No one notices this except niggas like Andrew Tate and fucking. Fresh I don't and like fed. Andrew Tate. Oh, yeah. he's misogynistic. He's misogynistic. He's just alpha. Bruh. He's saying the whole tradition. <laughs> I understand. Most people don't like that. And that's the, to each his own. Everyone has their opinion and they likes when they don't like. But respectfully, if you want your man to be a bitch and not have a backbone, then basically you just molding his ass. And I know too many females like that. And I don't respect that shit. You can't be yourself. Too much confidence is not good. Well, goddamn. Mm. What the fuck do you want? <laughs> that shit ain't going to take care of itself. How do you want him to take care of himself? Mm. Off of your standards? Off of you molding him? But yet you don't want to support the man. It's crazy. It's, it, and then the same thing with the men. The men do the same shit. Man, men act like they don't know that we control what we manifest. We can manifest what we want and do what we want to do. We're built like that. We do it all the time. If we want the woman of our dreams, quote unquote, Half the time, men don't get the women of their dreams because they're looking. <laughs> and it's been proven in history when we start looking and picking and choosing, we get this toxic shit. We get all that mixed energy. You should set a relationship podcast. Hell no. They'll set me on fire. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> Poppy's single right nah, now taking nah, his time. Nah, I mean, you know why I'm single. I'm doing it off of being part. smart because it's not, it's not the... It's like right now, like the way my life is and it's set up, if you come into my life, you have to respect everything that i'm doing so if you respect everything that i'm doing then i'm loyal to your shit everything that you have but how do how do we get that across lately when everybody has like this standoff i don't give a fuck well no Nobody you know what it is nothing. everybody broke and everybody angry yeah, that yeah, they i got broke. tired of the, i got tired and, of this and shit. women that's, is that's mad much, that they got to work stress. and it's a whole thing it's a it's a bitter cycle you know me, it's I a don't. Cycle. You know me, I'm not. I'm not. Men I'm not is okay with shit, being so. broke. We men, we struggle. We were built to struggle. That's a fact. Like we are okay with struggling. Women can't hang. They cannot handle. Certain that shit, women bro. can. 
So a, a lot of some real women out women. there, though. Most so women. It's I, the majority. See, so a different type breed. Yeah, he against a lot of uh, uh, walking species. I'll be 33 so. in like three months. I've seen a lot of things, y'all. I'm going to say majority women. We, get, we we did have China and the Ronda Rousey's of the world, though. Don't forget. And Amanda Unions. We got those. One in a million. Vanessa Williams. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yo. Point, you proving my point even Candace more. Parker, Out Ellie of Sparks. each of their graduating class, do we know any of the other classmates? I'm going to leave you alone because I got nothing to do with that. Bruh, are any of their other classmates significant? Do we even care? No, because they the only ones that matter. They the ones that made it out. That was the one. I, do they graduate in class probably like a hundred to a thousand kids out of the out of the high school? They made it. Serena Williams, love you, boo. You made it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's her sister name? Motherfucker, Venus Williams. Yeah, Vanessa love you, Williams. Boo. You made it. Vanessa Williams, the actor. You made it. He love you, boo. That. Yeah, because it was Venus Williams. You said Vanessa. This thing. <laughs> Venus Williams? You said Venus? Venus I Williams. I thought it was Vanessa. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Who's Venus. Vanessa Williams? The actor. What? The actress. From where? Uh, Wait to XL. Wait to XL. Oh. From back in the day. Okay. Oh, classic joke. Yeah. Well, she's from, yeah. from Mad Shit. Vanessa Williams was a Mad Shit. And she's a singer, too. Yeah, like shit. I, you know, I feel like, like I said, bro, you got to. You know. Hey, you know those. I bet you. A little trivia. A little trivia. That is a good trivia, though. Because <laughs> people going to be in the comment section. Like, they they going to fact shit. check me. I'm probably wrong. I know Who it knows? Is. I, oh, I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting. You see me, y'all. Listen, I'm sitting right here just chilling like, yo, see, you don't care for the fire. He I, take the fire for I us. Take it. He take I it for welcome us. it. Oh. Bring it. <laughs> that nigga said, bring it. Yo, look. But. Yeah, nah, I ain't about to be no motherfucking love guru, nigga. What I look like, Mike Myers and shit? Okay. Love guru? <laughs> Hell nah. Like, nah, nah, look. Hey, comment below if you would like to see Cobra in his own nope. relationship podcast where not. y'all can call in and ask him questions about relationships. Okay? I'm going to tell you that I'm going to straight up answer. What should I do with it? <laughs> Leave. Oh, shit. shit. Oh, oh, shit. shit. Bow, nah, bow. I ain't that. I ain't that. Bow. That's not my... This... My situation is more like, you know me. Like I'll be patient and shit. It's it's, I'll be patient, bro. Cause hey. times has changed. I've changed as a person. My views has changed as a person. Passport I've bros. Grown. Yeah, that's my bros. son. Seen him grow into a, a strong baby boy, bright, smart. Simple. It's my twin, so it's like yeah. And, that and is your have, twin too. We have this music. We have this business. You understand me? That I yeah. can't just bring anybody in here. A kid, like like the monitor. That's kind of. <laughs> what that be? Yo, it's crazy. I will be dip. Yeah. Yo, when you when, it be, yo. when you when they look at that shit, they gonna be like, "Yo, this nigga disappearing like a motherfucker." Disappear. Oh, he gone again. He go, he go, but shit. but yeah, you know, bro. Take your time, bro. For real, yeah. Don't rush it, for real. Don't people, rush it. People don't understand, man. It's what it is, man. Take your time, for real, because you're gonna get fucked up. Because... <laughs> it's true, though. It's true. You will get fucked. up. Might be dating an alien or reptilian. You don't even know, nigga. You fucked up. Oh, oh shit. Hey, yo, shout out to everybody that's dating the alien and huh? they don't even know. Ooh. Next time on the WNY podcast, my name is DJ Cecil. My name is Cobra Man. And this is the WNY podcast. We the fuck out of here. Mm. Peace, y'all. If y'all don't see us next time, the aliens got us. Ah! This is a successful podcast. And twenty seven. Chicks out there.